Hello, I'm Robert Yount. I'm with the Cisco TACOPS team, and we're here with the NERV truck. The acronym stands for Network Emergency Response Vehicle. Um, this vehicle is basically designed to be able to pull into an area where all infrastructure is down and be able to provide voice, video, and data for our first responders. Um, this is one of two vehicles that Cisco owns and operates. This one's based out of San Jose, California, and our sister truck, which is exactly like this vehicle, is based in Raleigh, North Carolina. This vehicle is completely self-contained. I've got a 20 kilowatt generator underneath my feet here providing us power, and I have a 1.8 meter satellite dish on the roof here providing us our wireless connectivity. Um, currently, we are, with that 1.8 meter satellite dish, we're running a 2x2 connection. The 1.8 meter satellite dish is expandable up to a 6x6. So that connection comes down into here to this one of our newer ISR routers, this 3925 series router, also handling our quality service and firewall. I like to mention this also because there's also a 3G cellular card that we can use in here, you know, just to our satellite connectivity or as an alternative to our satellite connectivity. Below that, I've got a 3945 series router acting as our core router. It's handling all our call processing, uh, running Communications Manager Express. This router is actually capable of supporting over 200 phones. Um, with a three, two or three meg connection, we're looking at maybe 20 or 30 simultaneous calls. So we can actually go ahead and deploy phones from here. Um, Below that, I've got one of our 3800 series routers here. This is handling all our video surveillance. Uh, this vehicle's constantly being updated and changes. We used to have a bunch of encoders and decoders on the truck doing all our analog digital conversion. Now they make a nice module that fits right in the back of this 3800 series router doing all our ADD conversion for us. Uh, just kind of move left to right over here. Um, so uh, as far as my video surveillance, I've got four perimeter cameras. So I've got one on each side of the vehicle. And then I also have a pan tilt zoom camera. If you look down here on our Cisco surveillance uh, software, I've got my four perimeter cameras and I've got a pan tilt zoom camera, which is located on a mast, which is in the back of the truck. It's about 46 feet tall. Um, of course, my controls for that PTZ camera are right here. I can just use my mouse and zoom that in. It's actually an excellent camera. Um, as far as the video, I've also got a digital media encoder here. Now that comes from our digital signage products. What that allows me to do is actually stream video over the internet to uh, maybe a specialist or my boss, whoever needs some more situational awareness of what's going on around the vehicle or in the vehicle. Um, that would be viewable on the other end by a Windows Media Player. Aside from that, if I had a camcorder and I was outside filming the incident, I could go ahead and get that, film that, and go ahead and bring it in, patch that in through here, and stream that over the internet also. Um, down here, I've got some DVR capabilities, so any of that video I'm receiving, I can actually go ahead and record some of that information. Uh, below that, I've got my satellite controls. Now, I'm just a driver, but even I can do it. I come in here and power up the generator and, and the circuits there, and I push this positive button here. It's going to auto-align and auto-acquire its signal. I've actually seen this vehicle um, up and running and fully functional within six minutes. Now, average is probably going to be more like 15, 20 minutes. It basically takes as long as it takes for the satellite to acquire its signal. Um, down here, I've got my just in case satellite, satellite phone. So if I'm unable to get a signal with my satellite dish, I can go ahead and use that as a last resort to get some communication.